quorum being present, I'd like to call the town meeting to order. This evening, we're very lucky to have our Hadley uh, Troop 40033 Girl Scouts with us. Last year, we had Matt Washkevitz, and this year, we're lucky enough to have the Girl Scouts join us for leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. We have Haley Boysworth, Felicity, Phil, Gabrielle, and Neil, Gabrielle Bamazan, my buddy. Uh, Jacqueline Pliska, Megan Quinlan, and Monica Rosa. So if you would please join us in the singing of the Pledge of Allegiance. Outstanding. Thank you so much. Next. Good evening. Girl Scout Troop 40033 is here tonight earning our bronze award. We are seven girls attending Hadley Elementary School in the fifth grade. Our project is about pet safety in our community. The first part of our project is a window decal called Pet Finder. If you have house pets, please take a decal and place it in a visible window in your home. Ladies, it's we that you owe the uh, debt of gratitude for. Thank you so much for your nice words this evening. One of the proudest moments of my life was when my daughter got a gold award, and I hope you all work very hard towards it. Good luck to you. And here we go. Since there is a vacancy on the office of town clerk, the first order of business is to elect by ballot a temporary town clerk. The temporary town clerk will be required to record all votes of this meeting. It is my understanding that Janice Kangas, assistant town clerk, being familiar with the procedures of town meeting and having the experience in recording votes, has graciously offered to perform the duties of the town clerk tonight. Additionally, you should be aware that in the elections, the person receiving the majority of votes of those present and the voting is declared a winner. Accordingly, if there is only one person's name in nomination, only one person will be required to elect a temporary town clerk. <laughs> Somewhat confusing, but you'll see. I do have a nomination for Janice Kangas to act as temporary town clerk for the purpose of this meeting. Do I have a second? Are there any additional nominations? Hearing none, the nominations are now closed. I will ask for a vote to confirm the nomination. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. Thank you.
Before, uh, right now. Okay. Do I hear a motion that the Board of Selectmen, uh, Selectmen Chunglo, predetermine, okay, cast one ballot for Janice Kangas? I cast the ballot for Janice Kangas as temporarily town clerk. Second. Ask for another vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? It's unanimous in favor. I now need to swear in Janice for the, tonight's meeting. Janice, please stand. Janice, do you faithfully, do you swear that you will faithfully and impartially perform the duties of the temporary clerk for the town of Hadley? I do. Thank you, we very much appreciate your help. Okay, thank you very much for your tolerance on that. The return of the warrant shows that it's been properly served. Today's date is May 2nd, 2013. It is now 12 minutes after seven. The meeting has begun. Um, I ask you to please remember for five people tonight who are not at our town meeting, but are very important civic mem members of our community who are not here anymore. Bertha Baranowski, longtime Council on Aging member. Marion Zahowski, longtime Register. John Koloski, longtime selectman for the town of Hadley. Daniel Lomasta, who served on so many boards, I don't know if he missed any of them. And Mr. John Pipchinski, who passed away last year, was principal of the Hopkins Academy for 16 years. And I'd ask you to please join me in a moment of silence to remember the civic duty that they performed to this town and how much better off we are for their duties. Thank you. I'd now like to uh, call up Joyce Chunglo to please award the Fred Oakley Award, please. Benefited, benefited from the scholarship for over 40 years. Um, 
the Young Men's Club prides itself on generosity, contributing to a number of different activities and fundraising events which benefit both children and adults here in the town and in the surrounding communities. They have donated to uh, the church ministry, the first of the first congregational church of Hadley, the Most Holy Redeemer Church, CYO basketball, Calvary baseball. They also have uh, soccer, baseball, they let them use their clubs, and they were very generous in the 350th anniversary parade. Um, we, so, 74 years later, the Young Men's Club had and continues to live up to its model, serving the community. So we thank them for their service to the town and their award this year. In addition, Joyce, uh, would you be doing a dedication for the annual report? Excellent. So I, want, I want to just say in, in memoriam, uh, we dedicated the book also to Stuart Russell and Mary Helen Zahowski for their dedicated uh, service to the town of Hadley also that they did over the many years. Um, I could list everything, but you may read in the book, but we thank them, thank them and their family for their services. It gives me great pride to have Mr. Edward Foreman come up. He
Jacobia, thank you for your evaluating everlasting impact on the time of that. I'd like to make mention tonight that the uh, Hadley Mothers Club is again manning the table and back with all the wonderful refreshments for us. And uh, all the proceeds that are collected this evening are going to the Jessica Spank Naval Recovery Fund. So every penny you put in there is going towards uh, helping Jessica's family be able to stay close to her at this time of need. Thank you, Mothers Club. This is an open town meeting and all Hadley residents are encouraged to participate. Anyone wishing to speak to a particular article should either approach, should approach one of either one of the two microphones that we have in front. Please state your name and your address for the clerk's record for us, please. Speakers will be limited to three minutes at the discretion of the moderator. Keep all comments relative to the motion or article at hand, please. Um, no person uh, in speaking uh, should indulge in personalities, name calling, or anything regarding any other people who have spoken previously, please. All comments are to made, made directly to the moderator to encourage the hearing from everybody who may wish to speak to the particular articles or motion at hand. A speaker may speak twice to an article or motion at hand, but not again until after everyone who wishes to speak has a chance to speak to it at least once. Before and during all votes, the uh, persons in attendance, please remain in your seats so that we can get an accurate count of everybody that's here. All amendments must be submitted in writing to the moderator as soon as the amendment is offered. Before we go much further, we'd like to thank a couple people, um, specifically Gloria DeFulvio, who was on our select board for an awful long time. Gloria, we thank you for your efforts. We'll miss you. David Moskin as well, who was a long time served on two different separate times on the select board as well. Thank you, David. We'd also like to thank John Allen, who was a long time member of our finance committee. And I'm just gonna take a minute to thank Jane Booth, who I see in the audience today, who has uh, submitted her resignation, and we're gonna be terribly lost without you. Thank you so much for your years of service, Jane. I'd now like to acknowledge the people who are at the front tables in front of us today. If you could just raise your hand when your name is mentioned. Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, Mr. Daniel Dukevitz, please. Joyce Chunglo, Selectman. <laughs> Selectman Brian West. And two brand new members of our select board. We're lucky to have a Mr. Guilford Mooring. And Mr. John C. Wischkevitz. Able to join us this evening from the Finance Committee are Mr. Frank Aquatro. <laughs> Linda Sanderson. Matt Lustig, and unfortunately I just heard for the last time on the front table, Mr. Glenn Clark. <laughs> Mr. Clark, you were a mentor of mine. When I went to Western New England College and you were a professor that I had there, it meant the world to me just to know you. To see your leadership on the select board was outstanding, and to have you as a member of the Finance Committee has been an honor and a pleasure to work with you. We hate to see you leave, sir.
As you know, Janice Kangas is up here joining us and she'll be taking care of the clerk duties for us this evening. This is Mr. Joel Bard. <laughs> Our attorney and, and uh, he's my wingman. And I'm Jerry Devine, the moderator. Thank you for joining us. I will read the articles in motion form when appropriate. I will ask for comments from the Select Board, Finance Committee, Long Range Planning Committee, Planning Board, and School Committee. I will then ask for the motion, a second to be sought, and then we'll open the article for discussion. As customary, I, along with the Town Council, will be using the handbook of town meeting time to uh, regarding anything uh, regarding town meeting tonight.